Welcome, welcome children. Welcome to Children's Church where faith and fun come alive. I hope you guys are doing so well. We have missed you so much. And remember, we are always praying for you. We're always remembering you and we miss you. We can't wait to meet with you. So remember, we're still praying with you. And so if there are other kids out there who are joining us for the first time today, welcome, welcome, welcome. Ask anyone around you who's an adult to type your name in the comment box so that we can enjoy the service together and we will get in touch with you. So today is an amazing day. I hope you guys are ready to be blessed with whatever we have, we have prepared for you guys. And I hope you're looking forward to be blessed this Sunday. Okay, so we also want to welcome the kids that had birthdays this week and we want to wish you a happy, happy birthday. Remember every birthday that comes, is a day to be grateful to God for because God has blessed you with another year. It's a day to be amazed and excited. So happy birthday to all you guys. Right now, guys and girls, we are going to do offering. Offering time, offering time. Remember, what do we use offering for? Offering is used to build our church, finish off our church, yes, and also to send the gospel out there to places that you and I cannot reach. So today's offering verse is coming from the book of Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. I hope you have your Bibles, guys. Philippians chapter 4, verse 19. And it says, And my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus. Whatever it is that you guys have, you have maybe you have saved some money or you have some money somewhere. Remember, this money you can give to offering, you can give to church as you're offering. We have something on the screen that will show you how you can give this money to church, okay? So ask your mom, your dad, or anyone who's around you to help you with the options that are on the screen so that you can give whatever offering you have. Guess what I've got for you today? I, the one, only man of steel, teaching you well. I got for you the memory verse. Are you guys ready for it? Brilliant. So turn your Bibles to Luke chapter 18 and verse 33. I'll give you 10 seconds to get to Luke. That's 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, and three seconds to get to Luke 18, verse 33. Three, two, one. I assume you are there, right? Good. Now, let us read together, okay? And pay attention. <coughs> the memory verse is from Luke 18, 33. That's Luke chapter 18, verse 33. And it says, They will whip him and kill him. But on the third day, he will rise again. Okay? Let's go through it again. Luke chapter 18. Yes. Verse 33. And it says, Yes, they will whip him and kill him. But on the third day, he will rise again. Now let's do it without looking at our Bibles. Because it's a memory verse, right? And we should have this in the back of our minds by the end of the week. So it's Luke chapter. Yes. 18. Verse Yes, 33. And it says they will whip him and kill him. But on the third day he will? Yes, he will rise again. You guys are way, way smarter than anyone could ever think. I love that about you guys. And I miss you so much. So from me, the one, the only, Man of Steel, I say, bon voyage. Hey kids, yes. I'm back, the man of steel. Now listen, I'm gonna tell you an amazing Bible story, okay? It's titled, The Triumphant Entry. Triumphant Entry of who? Of Jesus into Jerusalem. So this is how it starts, are you ready? Brilliant. So Jesus and his disciples were making their way to Jerusalem when they reached the Mount of Olives. And when they reached the Mount of Olives, Jesus told two of his disciples, go to this nearby village and just when you enter the village, you will find a donkey and its coat. Bring them to me. And if anyone asks, tell them, the Lord needs them. 
So two of his disciples went off to the village and just as Jesus had said, they found the donkey and the colt. So they grabbed the donkey and the colt and then the people nearby asked, where are you taking the donkey? And the disciples replied, the Lord needs it. And so they went with the donkey and the colt. And when they arrived where Jesus and the other disciples were waiting for them, they put the coat on the donkey and their robes as well on the donkey. And Jesus sat on the donkey and started to ride to Jerusalem. Now, this fulfilled the prophecy from long time ago. When the prophet said, go and tell Jerusalem, your king is here. He is humble, riding on a donkey, riding on a donkey's colt. Now you see, as Jesus was riding on the donkey, people heard that Jesus is coming to Jerusalem, Jesus is coming to Jerusalem, and they were excited because many of them had seen the miracles he had done and knew who he was. So a big, large crowd went out to meet him, and they went and they put their robes and palm trees, or rather palm leaves, on the road that he was going to pass on. And as he passed, they were there and they were shouting, the king from God is here. Yes, peace be in heaven. Yes, in the highest of heavens. That is what they were shouting. And then there were the Pharisees that didn't like this, some Pharisees in the crowd. And they told Jesus, teacher, tell your people, tell them to stop saying these things. And Jesus looked at the Pharisees and said, even if I told them to stop, the stones on this very road I'm on would start to praise me. That Bible story came from Luke chapter 19, from verse 28 to 40. Find time to read it, all right? Lovely. I hope you enjoyed the story. I know, I certainly did. So, from me, the man is still. I say, see you in the next chapter. Hi, boys and girls. It's Teacher Manga here. So I hope you all enjoyed the Bible story. I know I did. So, boys and girls, I want you to imagine. Imagine that you are a king, a queen, a president of some big, major country. And you have been invited to attend a special meeting. How would you want to go there? Would you want to go with horses? Would you want to go with a motorcade? Or would you want people dancing and cheering for you as you go there? I'm sure you do, right? Yes, because you want to be noticed, right? Yeah. But in the Bible story, did you see how Jesus entered Jerusalem? Even though he was and still is the king, he had to borrow a donkey and use a clock where he could sit on that donkey. Now you might be asking, what's a clock? Well, a clock is a piece of cloth that, we, that you can use to put under or on top of whatever it is that you are wearing, like a coat. You know, like there are times where like you may be cold and then you put on a coat and then as you are going, that coat protects your inner clothing. Almost also like a raincoat, like when it's raining, you put on a raincoat. What does a raincoat do? The raincoat protects your inner clothing from being wet. And that's exactly what Jesus sat on, on the donkey. So we see that Jesus was extremely simple as he was going to Jerusalem. He was humble as he entered Jerusalem because he knew that the will that God had placed before him. He knew the plans that God had for him. And he told his disciples earlier, he hinted that he was going to die soon. So, but his disciples, they didn't get it. They didn't understand anything that he was saying. 
and even as he was going into Jerusalem there were people who were shouting some were screaming Hosanna Hosanna they were so happy to see Jesus but interestingly these same people who are shouting and praising Jesus a few days later started shouting saying crucify him crucify him now isn't that shocking just imagine like, maybe like you're in school today your classmates are cheering for you saying oh he's a good kid he's done an awesome job and then the next day they are all laughing at you and saying oh no how uncool you are that's exactly what happened to Jesus and you know why that happened that's because his disciples didn't understand who he was yet so that's the whole point of today's Bible illustration. I hope you get something from it, kids. Enjoy the rest of the lesson. Hi, boys and girls. I'm back again. So, as Jesus entered Jerusalem, as he entered Jerusalem, he was preparing for his death. And when Jesus died, he died so that you and I can become his friend. So that's the whole point of this whole story. So, today is an opportunity for you. If you have never made Jesus your friend, this is your chance. All you have to do are the ABCs, which are accept that you are a sinner, believe that Jesus came to die on the cross for your sins, and confess that Jesus is Lord. And once you do the ABCs, by faith, then you can become a friend of God. So boys and girls, if you have never had an opportunity to make Jesus your friend, we can do it right now. All you have to do is pray the simple prayer with me. Are we ready? All right. Jesus loves me. Let us pray. Just pray after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross for my sin. Lord Jesus, I ask you today to come into my life and be my friend. It's in your name I have prayed. Amen. Amen. So boys and girls, if you have prayed that prayer, you know what's happening right now in heaven? There is a party because you are now part of the family of God. All right, boys and girls, with me, I have this awesome book that can help you. Well, this book has got awesome stuff in it. It can help you how to now walk with Jesus who is now your friend. All you have to do, there's an email just below on the screen that you can ask any elderly person, that's either your mom, your dad, your uncle, or any adult person, tell them just to email your name and your age and you will be able to access this book. All right, boys and girls. Also, if you have any prayer requests, Maybe you want us to pray for your school, for your family, anything, anything. All you have to do on the comment section, you, know, you can just comment your prayer request or there's an email again, the email is back. Yes, all you can do is just tell any adult person just to email us and we can be able to attend to your prayer request. Don't forget if you're using the email to mention your name and your age. All right, boys and girls, we love you so much and enjoy the rest of the service. Hey kids, let's put our hands together like this. Jesus loves me and close in prayer. Repeat after me. Dear God, thank you for today. Thank you for all I've learned during M Kids. May I teach my friends and family about it too. I love you. Bless us this week. 
In Jesus' name, amen. Now, don't go away just yet. Don't go away. Hold on. I got to tell you a few things, okay? So, praise and worship is available down in the description, okay? So just look there. You see the links. Ask your parents or guardians or older siblings to help you with that, okay? And you can go and have praise and worship now and you'll be able to praise God with us, all right? Yes. And one more thing. There's something I'm about to introduce to you, something new, something fab. This is what we call weekly activities for M kids. Yes, you got weekly fun activities to do throughout the week, okay? So they're also in the description. You see the link, it will take you to the website where they are and you can download those weekly activities. Isn't that awesome? Oh, I know it is. All right, from me to you all, we'll see you next time.